Hey guys, and welcome to episode 7 of my art prompt series. Uh, This week's prompt is Jar of Buttons, which my mum suggested, so thank you mum if you're watching. (laughs) Um, Obviously this is quite a specific prompt, so I decided to draw out different types of jars, different shapes, things that could make it a more interesting drawing. So there's just some basic shaped jars and then down in the bottom I tried a composition of putting some different jars together and then at the top I did the same again but I decided to do the one of the three of them together as I liked how that looked the most and uh, I thought it would be fun to do like three different colours. So this is just doing the line art. using Unipin fineliners. I used a 0.8, 0.4, and 0.2 for this, I think. I tried using a 0.1, but then I realized it just was too thin, so I went in with a 0.2 instead. I really like how this turned out. Although it's very simple and quite um, childlike, I guess, I feel like it's something that could be in a children's book. I still think it looks really nice. And it's not something I've ever drawn before, although I do love drawing objects. I've never drawn a jar of buttons. So it was interesting to look at how buttons lay inside of a jar. Because obviously you don't just have them all pressed up like full circles. Some of them you'll just see the side of them all turn slightly. So that was fun to do. And just filling in all of the tiny details on the buttons, all the little holes and the edges. <laughs> and then on to painting. Uh, for this, I decided on uh, the color palette of pale yellow, pale blue, and uh, pale pink, because I think they look really cute together. Just once again, basic like children's colours, I guess, they're the kind of colours that you would see in a nursery, uh, which probably gives more of the childlike vibe to it that I mentioned earlier. Um, And I just think they worked really well for it. obviously between each of the buttons I put a slightly darker colour of the darker shade of the same colour just to add more depth to it and give the idea of there being a slight shadow there and then just painting the cork stopper things in the jars (laughs) And onto the blue. I love these kind of like baby colours. I think they're so nice. I've got lots of teddy bears and stuff in those colours and I love them. Now the pink. I really like drawing jars, I think they're a very interesting shape, like the way that like you can see the thickness of the glass and everything like that, they're an interesting thing to draw. I wouldn't want to attempt to draw like a realistic looking one because I reckon that's a lot of effort, but um, doing a more stylized kind of cartoon type version, I think they're really fun to do. Once again, just adding the shading. (laughs) 
and then I realised that I hadn't painted in between like the little holes on the button so I had to go back and do all of that. It definitely made a difference, in my opinion. <laughs> you might not think so. And then on to the pink. Don't you think these just look adorable? I think they are so cute. And mum, once again, if you're watching, I, I hope you like this. I hope it's what you imagined it would be. And then just adding a bit of shading to the glass to make it look like it's not just a flat jar. Boop, boop, boop. And then going in with black and a brush and just lining it. I would use a brush pen because I bought one recently, but um, they are very hard to control. <laughs> and uh, the one that I have has a very um, big brush, I guess, or the tip of it is very wide and it's hard to get a smaller um, like detail with it. So. I like doing it this way, it works just fine and it's easier to control. The only issue is it takes a bit longer because obviously you've got to dip into the paint every time but it's worth it for the way that it looks. So with, with this rather than going around all of it I decided to just go around the outside of the jars. Um, I didn't want this to be like too intense and take over the entire drawing, I still want it, it to be very much about the buttons and very colourful I guess, um, but I still wanted there to be like a, a very obvious outline to it, so doing this to just the jars and then uh, later on I go in with uh, a fine liner again just to line around all of the buttons because in the painting process it did uh, dull the lines a little bit. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I think this was using a 0 0.4 again and just going around all of the buttons, making it that little bit darker just so that they stand out more. But I didn't add any more lines to like the inside of the jars or anything like that to make like the um, the thickness of the glass any different. I don't think I did anyway. I don't remember doing that. I might have done. I don't know. And yeah, the little details on the buttons, I left the um, slightly duller colour as well. And then just little details onto the corks. Boop, boop, boop. And then a couple of little dots and lines onto the um, onto the jars. And there we go. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>